there, YouTube friends. Mass Bandit here. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I always do appreciate it. And especially if you're still hanging with me, as my channel has gotten less and less frequent with updates, I do appreciate you still checking out the content. It means a lot to me. Thanks for sticking with me. And this is the penultimate Summerdale episode. The park is officially finished. I posted it on Twitter and I posted it on my community posts in YouTube weeks ago. But you know me, distracted by other things at the moment. Lots of Minecraft, lots of D&D. &D. Had a Planet Zoo release in there. Had some Evil Genius uh, videos in there. And I'm just now getting back into the Summerdale. But it is complete. I want to give you a quick tour, show you what has changed. Not a tour, I guess. I guess I'll just point out all the bits that are different, or the final touches, including lighting, which was not done by me. It was done by uh, my buddy member of Bro Nation, Gert, uh, who is actually, I think, uh, he's, he's big into lighting, and he offered to do that for us, and I took him up on his offer, and he did a mwah, chef kiss job of lighting Summerdale. So, today is basically a lot of custom signs and some other just bits and bobs, and then we'll take a look at the park at night, and then the next episode will be the final one, a full tour of the park, including POVs, and we'll be joined once again with my buddy Redline, since this is at least half his park now, too, so... <laughs> Uh, sit right there and let's go take a look at some custom signs. <laughs> so here we have the purple people eater. Um, I thought this would be something kind of like a little mascot, like maybe it's the high school's mascot or something. That was always the point of calling this the purple people eaters. It's the Somerville people eaters. It's the Somerville PPEs. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, but I thought this was super cute. I mean, I didn't want to, I didn't spend a ton of time on it, but I thought it shows off. It's, I, I don't know, I, I think this is my favorite sign because it's just so goofy. I love it, and I love how you can just barely see some of the purple wood poking out from behind there. Uh, you can see just the crest of the lift hill a bit. You'll notice there's no peeps here in the park. Um, I did get rid of them all. That's partly because I want this park to be able to run better. Um, it's a pretty beefy machine. It's a pretty beefy park because of all the custom content that you all have made, all the custom shops that you all have made for this. Um, it, it, it takes a long time to open, and I want to make sure that as many people can enjoy it as possible. So that's why you'll notice all the people are heading out. <laughs> but here you go, you get a good view of that main drag down this way, where we have, um, that leads to the back of the park where Surge is. Uh, yeah, we have our our um, uh, Skyway station here, but we're going to take a look at all that stuff in the future. So yeah, there there you go. There's the first custom sign. Uh, it makes it, it you're going to, I hope you realize it throughout this episode, how much difference these custom signs are going to make. It make it feel more like a live park. So yeah, purple people eater. This is probably the silliest sign. <laughs> So here at Surge, I wanted to go ahead and take that lightning bolt idea that Redline had given us and incorporate it. Whoa, there it goes. That's so good. <laughs> And I wanted to incorporate it into the sign for the park, uh, for the ride proper. So <clears throat> there, here we are. Here is our surge sign. Found a font that I really liked um, on the workshop. Actually, uh, found a, a work. I think it's by. Haplo or Haribo, maybe one of those guys. Um, but just a really simple sign, Surge, power up. I don't know, I think that's, it's, you know, some of these newer coasters, like the, in order to be more, quote, exciting and thrilling, they have that, you know, they have a, a little tagline. So Surge's tagline is power up. And at night, it looks really cool. We'll take a look at it at night. But now we have our central focus here of this plaza area. I do like this with the coaster all around you. Your entrance is over there. And you will also notice we have all of these awesome signs. These are uh, TMTK signs <clears throat> throughout the park uh, at all of the major coasters. Just to add that little bit of extra detail to it. Love it, love it, love it. It's those little things like that that push the project over the edge. I think so, at least. So there you go. There's a picture of Surge. You see Purple People Eater in the background there. Love it. You'll also hopefully are noticing all the lighting package that's out now that, that you can visibly see, which I'm totally cool with. As I was doing, um, there's those videos of the little recreation I was doing of the little area at Six Flags Great America. Um, 
I noticed that they had speakers and lights visible to everyone to see. So yeah, you'll also hopefully notice that I m modified my reshade settings. Hopefully you like this uh, better. There were a lot of people saying it was blurry last time. I agree. Uh, I fiddled with the preset that I had and kind of made my own now. Uh, it's a little bit crisper, but it still has that nice high contrast to make it feel like a bright summer day without necessarily washing things out too terribly bad. And now you can see we've got the surge spuds matches the surge sign now color scheme is all up and running tried to do because this whole copper color thing like that green was like you know an oxidized copper color it's kind of the idea there so yeah that's the next this area is now completely finished you'll notice all the railings are in everything is ready to roll uh, if this was not already finished last time i finished the planters in this area everything all the curbing all the fencing it looks like a completed park now. And there's always that hint of just simple jankness that uh, is, is, has become a major part of most of my projects because I like to try and be as, you know, uh, without spending hours and hours and hours on one single thing, I like to try to maintain uh, some aspects of realism like we have here. I added some of these signs, no entry all around um, in all the staff areas. And yes, you can take a peek back there. I did clean that up a little bit. Um, yeah, so there we go. It's it's looking. Yeah, I'm loving it. Um, I am loving it. Let's take a look at another custom sign. And so now, as we come this way to the back of the park here on the other side, uh, we have the inverted coaster, which I have now labeled Fireball. And if you've been following me since No Name Landia, you will notice that looks awfully familiar. Yes, it does. I took the Firestorm logo and just repurposed it. I don't think there's anything wrong with doing that. I highly recommend that you re, you know, reuse things that you've already made that you like. You'll notice I do that with a lot of my shops and stalls. Um, these signs came in real handy. I cleaned it up just a little bit, added just a, you know, I had to change the name a little bit. But now we have a nice entrance area for our coaster, Fireball. And that was suggested way back when we built this coaster. Uh, that was my favorite suggestion down in the comments. And again, cleaned up all this area here. We added a stand here, added a little bit of planter, some tree action, some fence action. Uh, the thing is, there's so many rides around here. I really feel like you need this really tall, the taller fencing here to really make it feel like, yeah, let's not, let's not let people be jumping down. As we walk this way, I'm going to go kind of fast. As we go this way, You'll see this is all added now. We've got all these no entry signs, these danger, danger, don't die, don't go in there. You will die if you go in there fencing. Oh, let's get rid of the, there we go. There, that's better. So now we have our, just our view here. And we're gonna take a deeper, a deep dive into every nook and cranny of the park. Next episode, I just wanted to show you all the bits. I'm not gonna show you, I put curbs here, I put curbs there. Nobody needs to see that. So I did add a quick in-game sign for the star wheel here. This is officially the star wheel. And I actually think, um, and you'll see there are some signs and shops and stuff back there. There are, uh, this is a perfect place, I think, to do the transition to nighttime. So let me go ahead, we're gonna pause, we're gonna put the camera right here, and we're gonna go ahead and jump into nighttime, and I'm gonna show you the amazing work that my buddy Gert did. And immediately the change is uh, noticeable. <laughs> Look at this awesome, awesome lighting on the Ferris wheel. Rotating through the rainbow colors here. I absolutely love it. Such a good job. So pleased with it. And we're just gonna take a quick stroll through the park here at night. I think I'm actually gonna come out this way. You'll see how nice of a job he did. Look at this with the city in the background and the mmm, delish. I don't think we've looked much at the park at night because I didn't do any lighting. <laughs> and it's definitely not one of my strengths. So I'm very grateful. Thank you, Gert, for offering your, uh, for offering your skills here to do the lighting of Summerdale. So let's go ahead and let's go uh, this away. And I told him to keep it light. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Keep the lighting light. Uh, mostly because we were pretty, you know, it's, it's, it's a big file and I didn't want it to be any more bogged down. But you can see here, I love what's going on. We've got the fireball sign. We've got just a little bit of lighting on the coaster. Got these, I love the warm, 
lights in through the barbecue area. And if we come down here, we've got just a little bit of lighting on the coaster. But yeah, I think this really, he does a great, great job of really making this whole park sing at nighttime. So I don't think you really need me to say much other than just, let's just take a look. I think a lot of this lighting um, was redlined. I, I know Redline really wanted, especially the area around Surge, to be left intact the way he intended. So Gert was uh, very gracious and he did not mess with any of Redline's lighting, but just, mm, I love this. This is so good. <laughs> Look at how that spike, the, the impulse coaster, is just so bright. So good. Yeah, I know I just keep saying the same things over and over and over, but the park is so charming at night. We have our wonderful Johnny Rockets made by Uakins. Um, he is actually, I, I went ahead and a lot of people who gave me stuff for the park or who helped on the park, uh, they are employees of the park. So when you download this park, and the download will be available at the end of the next episode, when you download the park, um, you can, you'll be able to see all the staff are named after people, friends of mine who have helped out. So let's swing over here and just take a look at uh, this whole surge area. And we got some lighting here for the water ride, some purples and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. Dig in that quite a bit. And the way it plays off the cool teal of, uh, of surge, I think is really nice. So yeah, hopefully you are also happy. Uh, you, you think it looks pretty good. I think it does. We've got that whole gaming area lit up to the nines. That would make sense. Those areas tend to be super duper bright from what I can remember. And I wanna see what he did down here. This, this, this like historic, this ended up being like the little historic area of the park, what he did with the, uh, the ballroom and all that. Yeah, look at how nice this is. Oh, it's so warm, so inviting, just so classic. Got the whip, the old school whip in here. And then you always have that impulse, that super modern looking with the orange. Yep, I am big fan, big fan, big fan. <laughs> and we're gonna, okay, we'll, I want to spend the time to look at this, but I do, uh, in the next episode, I don't wanna, you know, show off everything now, but just the vibes here, man. Such good vibes. Good vibes, <laughs> good light vibes. So. He lit up this whole seating area here. Again, just, he's a he's a color whiz. He's a lighting whiz. He really, really knows what he's doing with this to make it look like, and I kind of like how the lighting is only bright in spots. Like, it kind of looks a bit jank by the restroom, which, why would they spend a lot of time to light the restroom all nice? That totally makes sense to me. And now we're back at the front entrance once again. And we've got the main gate eats, the pink kind of, pink and greens and blues with the purple of the coaster in the background, yum. And we come out here whew, and our main entrance at nighttime. Look at this. Now if that just doesn't, we're right back. Look at this, we are right back where we started. Convenient, isn't it? So I know this is gonna be a bit of a shorter episode today, but uh, I just wanted to show you the bits of final details that I have added to the park and that I've had help with. Obviously had some help with it, uh, but couldn't have gotten it completed without that help. It's always a great idea to have friends help you out, uh, lean on other people's strengths so you together can make a project that neither of you, none of you could have made on your own. So this is where we're gonna leave it for today. To, uh, the next episode is gonna be the final episode. We're gonna do a tour with POVs with Redline Intel, and then there will be a download available for you. You can take a look at the park um, on your own and take a look at the surrounding area. So um, it's a little rough around the edges, the surrounding area. It was always just meant to kind of cement the park um, in a specific place. So, but anyway, uh, yeah, lots of great stuff there too. So uh, I'm hoping you're excited for the next episode. And if you are, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, or you stopped, uh, consider subscribing, maybe resubscribing. Um, and with all that being said, have yourself a great day, great night, great whatever. And I will see all of you for the final episode of Summerdale coming up real soon. Take care, everyone, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.